So today I want to show you how I created the guitar tone that I used in my sleep token cover Atlantic Asleep. And I'm going to show you how I used just two plugins to go from a 100% raw DI track to a finished mix ready guitar tone. So a while back, uh, Mixwave reached out to me and offered their Milkman Creamer collection for me to try out. And I instantly fell in love with it. I found this clean tone that I just absolutely loved and I knew I wanted to use it in this new single. And I couldn't have been happier with the result. It was the first time I felt like I played a clean tone that fit all the criteria I have and really felt like me when I was playing through it. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Adam Dodson. I'm a musician based in Austin, Texas, focusing on ambient instrumental guitar. So what we have in front of us is a guitar performance and a backtrack. The guitar is 100% raw DI. And we're going to make it fit into this backtrack. So let's just go ahead and load up the two plugins that we're going to use for this. And it's the Mixwave Milkman Creamer in the mono to stereo configuration and my favorite new neighbor wet reverb. I have a preset saved that I call sleep. I tried to mimic the sound of a piano sustain. It's a little different, of course, but it's very bright, very long decay, pretty low in the mix, only about 13%. And the only difference I'm going to make is adjust the pre-delay to about 120 or so. One of the things I really wanted to achieve with this tone was having long immersive reverbs without sacrificing any sort of clarity. And a longer pre-delay will give you just that little bit of space that sometimes you need to separate your dry clean tone from, from everything else. Let's go ahead and open up the Mixwave Creamer. This is the default setting that opens up. Um, as you can see, you have an input meter on the left, output on the right, and you are looking at the amp head with you know your volume, treble, bass knobs. And then right here in the center, you have a signal chain module. Um, what's really cool about this is you have your pedals, your amp and cab, and you can rearrange these in any order you want, um, which is super helpful for you know just creating and finding unique sounds. The other thing that blew my mind when I first opened this plugin was that it has input and output processing, which means you have an EQ and compressor available for you before and after the signal chain EQing DI tracks before they reach a cabinet or an amp has been something I've been doing for a while. So having this feature built into a plugin was just mind blowing to me. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds just straight out the default. As you can see, we're already very close, just right out the gate, which I love. I absolutely love when you can open a plugin and the default setting immediately sounds good. Let's start making adjustments and we're gonna start from the most broad and then work our way down into more specifics. The reverb on the amp is really great. It's just a little splatty for what I need in this purpose. So I'm gonna just start around here. Let's go and head back to the first portion of the signal chain, which is the input EQ and compression. 
I'm not going to explain all these moves that I'm doing because I don't want this to get too lengthy, but just know the goal that I have in mind is sort of this like very balanced, controllable low end with a very glassy top end where it feels like you're, you can hear the sound of the fingers on the fretboard. The thing I love about EQing and compressing on the way into an amp is if you need to, you can get pretty extreme with these settings without having these strange gaps in your, in your tone. Just a little bit of AB there. That's sounding pretty good. Let's check out this boost pedal. I love this because I use it exactly how I use my EHX Soul Food, which is to add sort of like a little bit of harmonic information to your clean tone without going into overdrive or distortion, any kind of breakup. You have a few different options here for the internal op amp. I'll, I think I chose this 990. So let's go ahead and turn that on. This dry wet knob down here is very important so you can blend in this total value with your original dry tone. On the amp, I'm gonna pull the volume down some. And now we should be getting pretty close to what I initially had. So let's bring in the full track so we can hear it all together. The cabinet gives you four options for mic placements. In each option, you have four speakers to choose from and a, a lot of microphones, all of which, of course, have access, distance, angle, all these little micro adjustments you can make to adjust your tone. I'm going to start with just one, and I'm going to choose the ribbon mic, ribbon 122. I really like the warmth that the ribbon mic adds and to pair with it, I'm going to add two uh, dynamic 57s, which are going to be much brighter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan them far right and left. And hopefully that'll give us a little bit more of a stereo image. go into the output processing so now we are affecting this total signal chain that we've created with another EQ and compressor So that right there is the foundation tone that I used in Atlantic Asleep. 
And from here, I can kind of go any direction I want. Uh, I believe on the actual song, you know, I started using sends and buses to add additional effects like tape delays, reverse delays, shimmers, those sorts of things. I have another video going over exactly how I set up those signal chains um, using amp sims, if you're interested in checking that out. I'm going to put a download link to this preset in the description below. If you happen to own this plugin or maybe you decide to purchase it, you can have this for free. And if you were to use the backing tracks I have on Kofi, you could play along to this with the exact tone that I used on the song, which I think would be pretty, pretty cool. Shout out to Mixwave for sending me these plugins to try out. I was really excited to give him a test run and ended up so happy with the end result that I used it in the single. It's the first time I have found a clean tone inside of a plugin that really spoke to me and didn't require endless tinkering to arrive at a result I was happy with. This sleep token cover, Atlantic Asleep, is streaming everywhere. If you want to go check it out, I'd really appreciate it. Let me know what you thought of this video. Was this helpful? Did you enjoy seeing this sort of process that I go through when I'm recording and mixing a guitar tone? Yeah, let me know in the comments. And if you have any ideas for future videos, I'd love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, giving it a like and subscribing if you haven't already really does go a long way into supporting me and what I love to do. So with that, uh, shout out to Sleep Token for writing the song in the first place. Uh, shout out to Mixwave for sending me the, this plugin to try out. And uh, I will see you in the next one.